You are either very brave or very foolish, setting foot back here. Nefertari, isn't it? A thousand blessings are long overdue. Oh, bastard! Naked ear that! That was Rujek's wife. Did you expect anything less? This way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them. I feel bad for her, but it had to be done. You look well, better than the last time I found you. Are you just better at killing now? Rujek was only the beginning. Yes, your hunt, the heron. Where are you taking me? To make amends with Anubis. Amends? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course, how could you? You left the moment you woke. You know, all the natron for Egypt is collected here. We send it mostly to Memphis to cover the bodies of the dead. High position, Gerech. Look at me. No, you're unwell. Uh, I... Natron has other uses, though. I could use it to disinfect a wound. Or wash the stains of blood off my hands, for example. It looks better, Neb. I will have one of my aides bring something for the pain. And my brother? Recovering. He needs rest. You do not need to remind me. Why are so many of your people ailing? Because Anubis is displeased. Ever since you left, the torches by his shrines have lost their flame. We are no longer protected. From what? The wrath of Anubis? Whatever it is, we have suffered grave injuries trying to reignite them. Some have even vanished. It has become clear that Anubis demands your appeal and yours alone. I'll ignite the torches and end this curse, or omen, or whatever it is. You would do well to, if you ever hope to appease Anubis and gain my pardon. Sophia, give some frankincense to the men at the pool, would you? I don't need to tell you to be careful. There are three shrines. One to the south, one atop the natural well, and one inside the bent pyramid. You know your way to that one. Did 
One of the torches of Anubis should be here. <laughs> this torch has fallen over. Where's the head? Fence is broken. Was there a struggle? <clears throat> the Fatari was not exaggerating. This one died trying to light the torch. There's the torch head. It must have fallen from the ledge when the torch was tipped over. Jumps. Oh, this should do it. All I need to do now is light it. Gatekeeper of the Duat, I honor your name.
Whoa. A shrine. One of the torches must be here. There is blood on these linens. Someone hung these. Charms of Anubis. Someone has put these here, but why? Gatekeeper of the Duat, I honor your name. That was no simple task. There are other forces at work here. Oh, this rotting meat gives off an attractive stench. Is someone luring predators here? Tomb of Sneferu. <laughs> Someone has been here recently. He's blocked. There must be some way through. The tracks here are fresh. There must be another way inside the tomb.
bent tomb of Sneferu. Someone has been here recently. Something must be behind here. Should be clear now. This room. This is where my quest began. Someone has taken great care of this chamber. My life was undone here. Yet now there's a shrine, a memorial where none should be. Could this be for Rutjek? None could care for that snake that began this twisted quest, could they? Charms of Anubis. Someone has put these here, but why? Rujek Saro. I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. Someone has sealed this room. The smell of the blood I spilled still lingers here. A mummified heron. For resurrection? No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the Order. Rudjek does not deserve a tomb, but this is an insult. 
This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. happened after I stabbed him. This room has told me all I need to know. This place was a beginning for me and an end for Rujek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rujek was dead. Rujek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rujek with his god's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rujek, if these candles are any indication. No matter what, I know Rujek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife. No matter what was done here. I will be judged one day. But I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart. Gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. That is the last touch. I should return to Nefertari. What news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon, before you cannot return from what you have become. Uh... 